Hello everyone, we are here to spend just a few minutes reflecting upon De Verbum, one of the dogmatic constitutions of a Catholic Church. I thought before we get into De Verbum, let us clear up a few misconceptions about dogmatic constitutions. Some of us tend to think that dogmatic constitutions are difficult to grasp. Yes, some documents can be complex. However, most of the documents are written with intention of being accessible to the faithful, to all the faithful. For example, if you read Dei Verbum once, twice or thrice, you realize the language used here, the structure presented here is actually, uh, it's very friendly. Uh, may not all document may not be so uh, you know simple but this document is so when you read them you realize it's not very difficult however even if it's difficult the church provides the various resources the catechesis the study guide you no know, YouTube you have to really get the background of the document and read them and it becomes quite easy Another misconception you have, we have is dogmatic constitutions are outdated, irrelevant for modern life. These documents actually contain the timeless teaching uh, that addresses the fundamental truth of our faith and guiding Catholic Church through this changing time and the cultural context. So these documents can be or uh, is being interpreted in the modern world, in the modern, uh, modern context. So I invite you to read them, engage it, engage this document with your day-to-day -day life, with your context. With this little understanding, let's, let's have a cursory view of Dei Verbum that each, of, each one of us get inspired to read them, read this document and promote it in a lived example. I'll give a very, very short understanding of each chapter that you can read by yourself. For example, uh, for, let's begin with Dei Verbum. This two word comes from the Latin word which means the word of God. Uh, this particular document is a principal document of Second Vatican Council uh, which you all of, all of us know that it, uh, it held in 1962 to 1965. This document, uh, the title, the formal title is Dogmatic Constitution and Divine Revelation and it's been promulgated by Pope Paul the sixth of November eighteenth November eighteenth nineteen sixty five. Now Dei Verbum has a very clear focus. When you look at or when you read the uh, read prologue, I won't read for you for lack of time. But when you read the prologue, you can see that the focus is that it defines or it produces a do do doctrine on divine revelation and how to transmit it. And why it wants to do because it wants all the people to hear it, believe it and hope and love. So these are the focus when you read the prologue and I hope you read, read prologue after this video. Then we, when you look at this documents it's a very, very simply uh, 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 put them into six chapters. First chapter talks about divine revelation. With divine God reveals God's self out of love. He reveals through nature. He reveals through prophet. But the core, uh, the, the fullness of revelation and the culmination of divine revelation is in Jesus Christ, the incarnate word of God. So read chapter 1. Soon after that, you will see the transmission of divine revelation. The transmission of divine re revelation occur through both sacred scripture and sacred tradition without neglecting either or or. So these two uh, scripture and tradition are not two different things but rather it comes from the same source and it is it, it points towards the same source. So it is part of one economy. After this uh, explanation of this uh, second chapter of the transmission by these two uh, tradition and the scripture uh, very very cleverly the the document is placed after that is explains what is sacred scripture then the new testament then the old testament in chapter chapter 3 3 4 and 5 that's the way it is being structured so it talks about the sacred scripture which has been inspired by the holy spirit but written by written by the uh, the human author so you read it's it's 
it's placed it very beautifully then we have this old testament and new testament is it's not a two different story but it's talking about the one whole story then the last one last the sixth chapter which i i i guarantee that all of you love that is the sacred scripture in the life of the church when you talk about the relevance in today's context the sacred scripture the importance of of all of us it's an invitation for all of us to hold the scripture hold the word of god read them meditate them and let it become part of us it invites the clergy it invites deacon it invites the catechist it invites bishops to make this scripture as the center of our life so basically dei verbum is a fundamental document for understanding how the catholic church views relationship between scripture tradition and the teaching authority of the church it encourages a deeper and more personal engagement with the bible while also affirming the importance of church's role in interpreting and transmitting the divine revelation